Today we have a very unique debate between Mr. Donald Trump, who is running for the Republican Party, and Mr. Mike Marino, who is running for a private party. Let our opening statements begin, gentlemen. I'm Donald Trump, one of the most successful real estate developers in the entire world. I own buildings all over the place, golf courses, jetliners, modeling agencies, where I groom future wives. But as far as being president, I've been leading in all of the polls. I've been leading in all of the debates. I'm doing an absolutely phenomenal job. I don't even show up at debates and I still win the debates. So frankly, if anyone should be the president of the United States, I think it should be me, Donald Trump. Hi, I'm Mike Marino and I am running for president of the United States. And one of the reasons why everybody should be voting for me is because I'm a family man. I know how to run a family, a nice, Italian family. I'm not going to need four years in the White House. I'm only going to do a couple years because I'm a very busy guy, but I know how to straighten out the country. We have a new thing that we're going to be doing now. It's called One World, One Language. Everyone's going to speak English in this country because when we go to your country, what do we do? We speak English. So when you come here, you're going to speak English. That's the American way. I'm Mike Marino, President of the United States. Mr. Marino, where do you stand on gun control? I stand firm on gun control. I'm really good with the gun. And when I shoot, I usually hit the target that I'm trying to hit. I'm very stern with the gun. Mr. Trump. Well, I think guns are fantastic. I think everyone should have a gun. I'm a Second Amendment guy. So that I think that says it all. I think you should buy as many guns as you want. Mr. Marino, how do you feel about our war here in America against ISIS? Once I'm in the White House, I'm going to take care of all of that myself. I mean, not by myself. A couple of guys are going to go with me. You know, Frankie, Joey, Sally, Tony. We're going to go over there. We're going to sit down with ISIS. Nice, nice. We'll talk to them, make them an offer. And before you know it, everything is settled. Mr. Trump. Well, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. We would just bomb the shit out of ISIS. It would just, it would just, we would break the big rocks and the little, it'd just be sad, honestly. Mr. Trump, Vladimir Putin has pretty much endorsed you for President of the United States. Vladimir Putin, great guy, doing a fantastic job running Russia. I think a lot of people misunderstand him. I understand him. We're very, very similar. So I think once I'm president, we're going to have a great, great relationship together. You know, Vladimir Putin and myself, we got a great relationship. We like each other. Uh, we get along, uh, you know, every once in a while, some of the extra vodka that gets lost out of Russia comes over to the United States, you know, we make a deal and everything is cool. So I'm never going to rattle that cage. We're all, we're all really good. I mean, Trump thinks he's got an, something going on with Vladimir, not as good as me. You know what I mean? Vladimir Putin, my buddy, VP. Mr. Marino, what's your take on crime? organized crime and the overpopulation in the jails. You know, I've been asked the question about organized crime many, many times. I really don't know why I'm kind of offended by the question, like I might be a connected guy. But, you know, when it comes to organized crime, wouldn't you rather you have crime that's organized than crime that's messy? Wrong. Hey, 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 huh? Huh? Actually, I'm wrong. That was a good idea. You know, these crimes being committed all over the place and nobody knows how to convict the person. Nobody knows what happened. You can't find the perpetrator. Cops running all over the place, not know what to do. It's unorganized. So if it was an organized crime, it might be better for everybody. I'm just saying. And I would just like to point out, as somebody who's been in New York City their entire life, Mike Marino has nothing to do with the mafia, organized crime, Casa Nostra, no connections to anybody like that. Mr. Trump, now your suggestion is to build a wall to help with this never-ending problem of immigration. We have to put a wall around this entire country, keep the immigrants out. In fact, I haven't mentioned this before, but once I'm president, it's going to be virtually impossible to become a U.S. citizen unless you're a supermodel or former supermodel or just hot. You know, like, I, I'll judge on the hotness, but, you know, supermodels automatically, you know, right off the bat, they're very, very good looking. So for right now, moratorium on everybody coming into the country except supermodels, 
former supermodels, and just generally really, really hot women. Now, Trump, if he wants to finance building a wall, then who better to hire than the Italians? I know everything there is to know about building a wall. I know where to get the cement. I know where to get the brick. I know where to get the mortar. I even know where to get the lime, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Mr. Trump, what is your opinion on Obamacare? I would absolutely get rid of Obamacare overnight. It'd be gone. First thing I would do, because what's happening with Obamacare is everyone's going to the doctors. They're going to the doctors because they have access to doctors, and that's jamming up doctors' offices. So let's get rid of Obamacare, and then people can actually see doctors again, and they can get in, and they'll be much healthier under my plan, under the Trump plan. Mr. Marino, what is your take on Obamacare? We're going to change it to Marino Care. If you can afford it, you can have it. If you can't afford it, that's your fault. And then I'm going to get rid of the copay. There's no such thing as a copay anymore. How is it a copay if the doctor don't put up any money? I co, you co. That's copay. He don't co, it's a me pay. So then you say me pay, not you pay. Nobody else pay, just me pay. You understand? Me pay. Mr. Marino, Hassan Rouhani visited Italy recently. And the Italian premier covered up all the statues in Italy so as not to offend Hassan. What are your thoughts on that? I'm a little bit upset with my friends in Italy for uh, covering up the beautiful statues, not letting the uh, body be shown to whatever his name is that came visiting from Iran. Uh, if it was my call, I would say to him, listen, pal, here's what you're missing. See how gorgeous this statue is? That's real. The girls actually look like this in person, and they're soft, and they smell good. You could touch one. you got to be careful how you do it. You understand? So they felt like they needed to cover up all this stuff so these guys wouldn't be offended. I, uh, you know, I don't stand that way. Can you believe this? They canceled these big meetings in France because they don't want to drink a glass of wine. How do you not, how do you digest without having a glass of wine? Me, I can't go to sleep unless I have a glass of wine, maybe two glasses of wine. I had two glasses of wine before I came here to talk to you. Mr. Trump, what do you think about having Mike Marino as your vice president? You know, I... Well, I don't see that happening. I really don't see Donald Trump beating me. But for some weird reason, if he did, then yes, I would be Donald Trump's vice president. Who better than to have Donald Trump's back than a guy like me? Mr. Trump. Mike. Mike's a good guy. He's a really good guy. You know, if it if it came down to it, you know, I'd vote for him if I had to, you know, because he's the only person I've seen out of all the people running that can actually do the job. He knows people. He's connected. He can make things happen. He makes good deals. He's a good negotiator like myself, you know, so if I wasn't in the race, I'd say Mike is your guy. Mike Marino, good guy, right, Mike? Right? Okay, good. We're good, right? We're good? What do I say? Okay, good. It scares the hell out of me. Okay, closing statements, gentlemen. Once again, I have won this debate single-handedly. I've done a fantastic job. I answered every question. I know exactly what I'm talking about on every single issue. So once again, I think it's very, very clear that the low energy losers have got to go and there's only one winner and that's me. But I have to tell you something, standing on this stage with this man, I think I need to step aside. He's the bigger winner. He's the better leader. He's more connected than I could ever imagine. Mike, Mike, let me, Mike Marino, this guy is going to be president. Let me just say, let me be the first to say, President Marino, you're going to do a fantastic job. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us today, Mr. Trump and Mr. Marino. If you could shake hands. Very good. Nice work. You could have did better. Next time. Until next time. I'm Donald Trump, one of the most successful people on the entire planet. Listen, I don't endorse anyone except Mike Marino. Mike's going to be a fantastic president. Mike, as far as I'm concerned, you're hired. Marino, 2016. So come on, what do you think, huh? Did I make you laugh? I bet you're laughing. I want to make you laugh more. Why don't you tell me what you think, okay? 
You can comment down here. You can hit the like button. You can watch some more videos right over here. Or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll always be in touch with you.